Hello, hello, guys. Uh, today, I would like to speak about the A-Pool motherboard. Okay, I want to teach you how to repair A-Pool motherboard. So let's go ahead. So the first thing that you know you need when you are repairing uh, the A-Pool motherboard, you need uh, the following. Okay. Uh, you need the uh, the board. You need the board viewer. Okay. After the board viewer, you need uh, the board view. Okay, after the board view, you need obvious the schematic. You need the schematic. Okay, so let's say you are repairing uh, the A pool motherboard, and now you are not sure uh, which components to replace because there is no board number on the A pool motherboard. They didn't write any information on the A pool motherboard on the A pool logic board. Okay, let me show you a picture so that you will have a better understanding of what I'm talking about. Uh, let's go online and say uh, MacBook uh, motherboard. Okay, go to images. Uh, let's open any picture here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and download this picture. Okay. So here we have the Apple motherboard. As you can see, uh, there is no number on the board. They didn't write or they didn't specify anything on the motherboard okay it's just blank black no information about the component so i'm sure this thing it, it, it is very uh, frustrating okay especially for guys who are not um who are not familiar with the apple motherboard okay so Now let me show you. Okay, the first thing that you need to do, you'll have to find the board number. Find the board number, okay, so, so that you'll be able to search for the schematic, uh, exactly the exactly same schematic for that specific board. Okay, so in our case here, the board number is this one here on the right hand side. It says H20 hyphen two nine one five hyphen A. So what you do is you go online. You type the same number you say h20 okay uh two nine one uh two nine say two nine okay h20 hyphen two nine uh one five hyphen a and say uh, space and then uh, schematic and then press enter okay so on your first page uh, on your first results it's uh, vnxfix.com so this is a paid uh, website so you'll skip it even the second one it's a paid aliseller.com it's a paid website they are selling the schematic they are selling the port view they are selling everything so let's keep on the dead uh, results this one is a forum okay it's labor one inside everything there is free of charge you click you click there okay okay you'll find a download link okay it's this one and then you click it okay and the schematic it's downloading here once it's downloaded you you open the schematic
okay so let's go to our download uh, page okay this is our download page uh, on our download page this is the a pool uh, schematic the one that I just downloaded now and then you open the schematic let me open the schematic you can use any of your PDF reader but in my case I'm having a problem with the, uh, the Adobe so I'm just gonna use the, uh, the default one from the Windows 10 okay now we have the schematic okay what else do you need we need the board view okay let's go online again and download the board view just go back with the same board and then you say uh, board view okay you type here h20 hyphen 2915 and then space and then you say board view until you click enter and again you skip the early uh, seller you go to labor inside one that's uh, here it's a forum it's free of charge you go inside and you do the same thing again uh, you click the same link okay and now the board view has been downloaded you said uh, open file it's a zip file or it's a compressed file so you have to extract it okay so uh, let's try to extract uh, the file uh, you can say open uh, and then you click here you okay replace because we already have it I'm not sure if you, you saw what I did guys you extract the file this is the file I'm using a higher zip here I'm not using a WinRAR you can use any application to open uh, to open the, the zip or compressed file so you you remove I mean you extract it so in my case I just drag the file to download folder okay otherwise you can just right click here okay where's the where's the file here yeah. and then you say extract to current folder okay and then the file will be extracted to download folder okay done now we have the board uh, view so the board view itself let me show let me show it to you it's white it's white there's no proper app for it to hide so there's no proper application to open the board view so okay where's the board view i can't find the board view where is it 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 okay there it is okay and this is the file the apple macbook pro 15 as you can see it guides it right meaning there is no proper application to open the file that's where you need to download the board viewer okay you can copy this copy, i mean you can go let's just go online let me let me just make it simple for you again go to your drum open a new tab you type uh board what view download uh, okay okay so your, your first results it's free of charge even the second result it's free of charge okay you can use the first link of which is portviewer.net anyway i'll i'll link i'll uh, copy the, the download links and uh, paste them on the description below guys you can be able to to use that link and download the, the those applications okay and then you click uh download uh let me click download okay then here's the file here it's downloading and as you can see as well it's been compressed okay it's been zipped okay let's wait for it to finish now it's finished and then you go here and then you say extract it to a current folder and then yes to all the file has been extracted there it is okay now you open the file you open the application you open the port viewer now let's run the application 
I'm gonna put it in, in the full screen. You go to file, you say open. So now we'll have to uh, allocate where exactly is the board view file uh, is. In my case, there it is the April MacBook 14, I mean uh, Pro 15. Uh, you open it up. Now we have the port view. Okay, we have the port view. Okay, I'm open the picture. Okay, there it is. As you can see, it's the same thing. So in my case, let me try to rotate it uh, vertically. Okay. Okay, but again, I have to flip it around. Let me flip it around. So so that we'll have the same orientation i want you to understand everything okay let me just flip the board you can flip the board around let me just uh, go to view horizontally okay now we have the same orientation as you can see uh, the usb ports and the internet and the thunderbolts uh, everything everything is on the same uh, page on the same side as you can see as well okay uh, yeah yeah so let's go back to our picture uh this is our picture let me zoom in uh let me just zoom in let's say uh this capacitor here this one here is bent or one of these two two transistors are going are bent or yeah or a short head so now you want to replace them and you are not sure what exactly they are doing uh you don't know anything about them you want to get some information so what you do is you go to your board viewer as you can see these components are here so let me zoom in here zooming in so here there it is this is a capacitor actually let me go back to my picture as you can see this is a capacitor and next to it there's another small uh, capacitor of which is this one and right in front of it there's another capacitor of which is, of which is the, uh, it's this one uh let's zoom in again yeah so now we have the uh the thing this is the, uh, the capacitor in front of it i have a capacitor next to it on the right hand side i have another capacitor so now i want to know what exactly this capacitor does and you, as we can see it's next to a coil it's a titanium capacitor uh, as you can see here there is a coil uh, this is exactly the same capacitor that you are looking for so what we do you copy this number okay you press it first and then automatically it will be selected and then you go up here you highlight this number for it same number and you go to your schematic this is our schematic so you control f and then you paste uh, the number then you press search okay so in our schematic we do have the the capacitor here as i was saying to you guys this is a titanium capacitor as you can see we just zoomed in and we can see this is a capacitor and this is the coil i was showing you and this is a capacitor okay so now we are pretty sure what exactly we're replacing and we know that this thing is responsible uh, for the output of the gpu uh, regulator okay this is a gpu a graphics card regulator okay these two mosfets here they switch on and off to generate power and this coil here as well so this is uh the whole uh, system here it's responsible uh for the graphics card okay so this is how you work around with the board view and the uh, board viewer and the schematic when you are repairing uh, the a pool uh, motherboard okay anyway don't worry guys i'm gonna post i'm gonna paste all the links below uh hope uh, this whole video will assist you thank you uh, so much